and we're back. And today we're doing another super fun pin share. So this pin collab was hosted by Mari and Tony over from the Siskateers. They had the idea of doing an Easter pin tag. And I thought this sounded like so much fun. I love this time of year. I love springtime as the seasons are starting to change. We're moving back into warm weather, all the flowers and the pastel colors. And Easter is one of our favorite holidays. We love celebrating Easter every year. We love dyeing eggs and we love spending time with family. So definitely was super excited to do this pin collab. And I'm excited to share with you guys the pins that I picked out for all the different topics today. So let's get started. I gotta know. All right, so like I said, this is a pin collab, so make sure you go and check out everybody else's channels, link down below, and make sure you head on over to the Siskateers channel as well. Mari and Tony are just super sweet, super fun, and they do a lot of really, really fun collabs and things, so you're gonna wanna go check their channel out for sure, and check out everybody else, link down below, so you can see all the super fun, super springy pins that everybody has in their collection. So the first question on this pin tag says share a pin that represents new life so show a pin of a baby and I thought mmm I definitely have something to show for this one and I had to kind of pick which one I wanted to show but I thought really the perfect baby pin has got to be baby Jack Jack. So we have this baby Jack Jack Incredibles pin. It was from the summer that the Incredibles 2 movie came out. Wally was super into baby Jack Jack. He was really little then. And we had actually done a trip to Disney World that summer um, that it premiered and we were there. I think opening weekend even of the Incredibles 2. So we actually got to go see it in Disney Springs. I always want to say downtown Disney. <laughs> I still want to say downtown Disney. In Disney Springs in Walt Disney World at the big movie theater there. And it was like such an experience because we were like way up on one of the like top levels in one of those balconies. And it was the first time he ever got a Slurpee too, like one of those like ICs. We let him get a big red icy, not thinking about the fact that there's like so much sugar and I think there's caffeine in those too. So he was super wound up, but it was a super fun memory and really fun. And I just love this pin. I think baby Jack Jack is so cute. So that is my perfect baby pin that I had to share. The other one I was thinking about was baby Yoda because that's another really good baby. So like I said, it was a hard choice, but you can't go wrong with baby Jack Jack. So the next one says, Easter baskets, show a pin you received as a gift. So this one was also hard. I have a pin that we got as a gift that I really love, but I've already shown it for one of these. Um, so I thought this was a super fun one that we also got as a gift. So Mark's mom found this whole collection of pins that they had from the like Millennium series of pins that they had in the parks. And so this is the year 2000 Walt Disney World Millennium Celebration pin. And like I said, she sent us a bunch of pins from the like 2000 millennium series that they had from when they'd gone to the parks when Mark was little. Um, and I just thought this was kind of like a good representation of the whole collection since it's the year 2000 and it says celebrate the future in hand. So really a fun pin. And that was a pretty epic gift that I received and it felt like an Easter basket because it was a lot of pins. So if you saw our live stream when we did like all of our pin opening, um, we highlighted those pins there, but I'll have to do another video showing some more of them because it really is a cool pin collection and it has so many of like the classic like attractions and things that aren't even there anymore. Like countdown to an extinction pin is in there, um, which is now dinosaur. So um, just kind of a really cool collection and really fun to have those. So that was a pretty epic gift pin that I had received and I thought it was perfect for the Easter basket. So the next one says springtime, show a pin with flowers. So I had a couple 
that worked for this one, but when I saw this one, it's just so perfect for spring. So this is, um, it was one of the like little mystery collections that they did. And I got one of these um, in a swap, a pin, our very first pin swap that we ever did. Um, and so I actually had to go online and order a couple more in this series, but I love the mini one. It's so cute. I love that it's the vintage mini and she's in the garden watering her flowers. It's that beautiful pastel pink. So it really is so perfect for spring. And she's got the same like mini little flower on that I have on these ears. And that's why I love these ears so much because they're like the vintage mini. So I love this pin. And there's a whole series of these. Um, there's Goofy, Pluto. There's a Mickey one that we haven't been able to get because I think that was like the most desirable one in the collection. I think it might be even be like a Steamboat Willie. Pretty sure it's a gray pin. Um, and there's one more, I think Donald maybe. Um, and I've been able to find Goofy, Pluto, and Minnie. So, love that one. Um, the next one says Candy, show a food pin. And I thought, well, I don't really have a food pin, but I do have a pin that's pretty perfect for candy. So the very first Mickey's not so scary Halloween party that we took Wally to, we got a pin from that. And really like what says candy more than a Halloween party in Walt Disney World and the Magic Kingdom. So I love this one. I love how it has the glittery purple behind it and it's got the little Dracula Mickey. So cute and such a fun memory of Wally's. This was his very first ever Disney party and his very first Halloween party in the parks. We can't wait until the parties come back and we can start doing these again. Definitely want to do a Christmas party with Wally someday. Definitely want to go back and do another Halloween party with him someday. Now that he's older, he was just one years old when we took him to this. It was so cute. He dressed up like Tigger and we got the cutest picture with all the Winnie the Pooh characters dressed up in their Halloween costumes. I'll insert a picture here so you can see because just was so cute and my mom and I took him to the parade and we got he was just like in love with all the characters and all the colors and the music and it was super super fun so this is definitely the perfect pin for candy you cannot beat Halloween candy in Disney World so that one fit the theme perfect the next one says egg hunts show a pin that you hunted for. So I have a couple pins that I've gone on quests for, but I think this was like the first pin I ever quested for in the parks. And I love it. So it's Sam Eagle and it was the Independence Day pin. And we were there that year in the parks. And I think I saw somebody post this on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to find this pin. And we were in Epcot that day and we searched all over. And I think we finally found it at like the American Pavilion actually had just a couple of them left. And I just love it. It's such an epic pin. I love Sam Eagle. I think he's so funny and very patriotic. So super perfect for an Independence Day pin. Like I don't think you could summarize Independence Day up better than with Sam Eagle from the Muppets. So I just love this pin so much. It makes me laugh. And it was definitely a quest. Like it was one that I was like, okay, this is a pin we need. We have to find this pin. So I was very driven to find it and super excited that I did. All right, next question says, pastels show a light colored pin. So I had quite a few again for this and I thought about showing some of the new ones that just came in the D23 member gift because they're all like super bright pastel colors. But this one is 100% pastel. Like, the yellows, the pinks, the violets, the light blue, the Cinderella blue. This is such a perfect pastel pin. And this pin is actually one that we got on our honeymoon. So we did our honeymoon in 2008 at Disneyland and it was during the year of a million dreams. And this was one that we actually got, I think because we'd booked like a Disneyland package to stay, we got the lanyards and these pins with our like, 
travel package. So I just think it's such a cute pin. I'd completely forgotten we even had it. And I was going through like a bunch of old like boxes and drawers and found this when I was starting to put together our actual like full pin collection. And I was so excited that we had this one and it's just such a pretty pin and I love that it's Daisy as Cinderella. So this is a perfect pastel pin. Can't beat that one. All right, the next question says Faith. Show a pin that represents your faith. And we didn't really have any like faith-based pins in our collection. So I was a little stumped on this one, but then I thought, you know what? This is one of our favorite sayings is faith, trust, and pixie dust. So a pin with Tinkerbell, I think is a great way to represent that. And also like, we just have a lot of faith in Disney too. We love the Disney parks. We love what they stand for. We love that they're about family and time together and just like they're simple, they're wholesome, they're clean. I don't know. So I think faith, trust, and pixie dust with a little Tinkerbell is a perfect way to show a pin that represents our faith. So I love this one. And this is one that Mark's mom just sent us and it was from the happiest celebration on earth at Disneyland. So I think this must have been maybe like from when they went on a trip. It says 2005 and I know his mom was a travel agent too. So this also could have been a pin that maybe she got from the travel agency. I'm not sure. Um, 2005 was the year I graduated from high school. So I don't know that this would have been a trip that they went on, um, but I do remember when this was happening. So, and actually, now that I look at it, I think that's actually Peter Pan. So it's not Tinkerbell, which now makes me think we need to get a pin with Tinkerbell on it. It's kind of interesting that that's Peter Pan and not Tinkerbell, but I still think it works. I mean, Tinkerbell's from Peter Pan, so, and there's pixie dust on there. So Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust, I think it still works. We're gonna call it, we're gonna call that one good. <laughs> that one that one was a hard one though. All right, the last one is find a pin that represents the Easter bunny. Show a pin of an animal, a rabbit if you have one. We do not have any rabbit pins, sadly. We don't have any Easter pins either. These are like all every time I do one of these, I'm like, okay, now we need to get more Easter pins. <laughs> like all these kinds of pins that we need to add to our collection. So next time we're in the parks, we're gonna have to like get all these different pins because every time we do one of these, I'm like, ah, oh, I need a pin for that. I want more pins for that. I need more green pins for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so this one is not a rabbit, but it is somebody else who really likes to bounce a lot like a rabbit. So Tigger. I think Tigger is a perfect hoppity, bouncy, bunny-like character, right? He definitely is like a bunny. And there is a rabbit in Winnie the Pooh. So I think this works perfect. This pin was um, from Disneyland and we try, like we try every trip we go on to get pins that kind of represent big milestones for Wally, first rides. So this was his very first ride in Disneyland park was on the Winnie the Pooh ride. So this was the pin that we got to represent that memory of his first ride in Disneyland. And you gotta love Pooh and Tigger. It's so cute, <laughs> so perfect. Just like Pooh's reaction to Tigger because Tigger is, you know, always bouncing all over the place and kind of driving people crazy a little bit, which it's kind of a little bit like Wally. He's a very bouncy child. He's always all over the place. So <laughs> I think Tigger is a very good embodiment of Wally's spirit. So, and he's always happy and ready for an adventure and up for anything. So we love Tigger. I think Tigger's is so cute and not a bunny, but he definitely bounces like a bunny. So I think that fits the mold. So this was such a fun pin tag to do. Like I said, make sure you go check out everybody else's channels, link down below. I can't wait to see all the fun springy Easter pins that everyone has in their collection. These are always so fun to do because people come up with such creative and fun pins in their collection and, so, and they all have such like unique and awesome pins. I always watch them and I'm like, oh, I want that pin. I want that pin. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try and find that pin. So hopefully you guys have fun watching everybody else's pins too. And hopefully you guys all have a really wonderful, happy, 
peaceful, joy-filled, family-filled Easter today to celebrate this beautiful time of year. And make sure you stay tuned to our channel. If you're not already, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to come along on all of our adventures and we have lots of springtime fun, lots of summer adventures ahead, and we'll have all the Easter fun coming up next week as well. So stay tuned for that. We have some really fun Easter traditions that we do in our family. This morning, the Easter Bunny came a little bit early and sent Wally on a super fun scavenger hunt to find all the Disney themed eggs in our house. So very similar to the Epcot egg hunt. It was a lot of fun. That video will be coming out soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you go check out everybody else's channel and have a wonderful, peaceful Easter. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the wonderful world of Walter. We love you just the way you are. Bye.